see geospatial information and tools as critical to the work that we're doing in impact investing because many of the people that, in fact all of the people we're looking to uh, help or serve uh, don't exist in terms of being on the map. They're not in official records, um, there's no official data about them and it's hard to imagine how you can go about bringing uh, impact at scale if you don't know who your customers are, if you will. So geospatial helps us put people on the map. It helps us understand in more detail who they are, where they live, and where they live in relation to others. And so it gives us a very, very powerful base of information to better understand the clients that we're helping to serve. We drive impact and change is by either investing in companies that are working uh, on the ground or by giving grants to organizations that are working in the ground. We don't do it ourselves directly. And uh, one of the things that we saw was many of the organizations that we fund or invest in struggle themselves with using geospatial data and tools. Uh, they find it difficult, they realize they might need specialized staff and so forth. And so we've made investments in the geospatial area. Uh, one of them is called Radiant Earth, which is a non-profit foundation that we have co-funded with the Gates, Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, to aggregate all of the world's um, publicly available data set. We also invest in organizations like Suyo and Landmap. These are two for-profit companies. And Suyo is focused on Colombia and getting people their land documentation. They're a for-profit business. Similarly, Landmap is working in Ghana to get rural farmers their land documentation and they're also leveraging as an integral part of what they do, geospatial technology across their whole production line. I think we have a growing interest in investing in geospatial startups. We've looked at uh, quite a few already um, and like any good investor you, you say no to far more than you say yes to. But we're hoping that we can grow the, the space. We're interested in getting people interested in geospatial. Uh, we think there's lots of opportunity there. Uh, we've taken a long look at a lot of companies that are doing analytical work through machine learning around uh, geospatial data and will continue to do so. Often you need to make uh, policy change and you need to uh, inform governments about changes in, in, in environments and changes in data and tools that are available hopefully to make better decisions about um, development. Uh, so we mostly engage through those, those multi-stakeholder initiatives um, and of course uh, they're good partners in much of what we do. So for example we are a member of Cities Alliance uh, which includes many of the UN organizations looking at improving the, the, the livelihoods of um, mostly secondary cities but all cities worldwide.